He said, you speak, if you open up your mouth, I will feel it. Therefore, my mouth is full. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's why I'm always ready to spew. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of grown 50 year old baby birds beneath me. They got a lot of knee food. We feed each other like that, don't we? That's the Raven correspondence, the Raven coalition. The Raven coalition. What's the Raven coalition? That means any bird that's waiting beneath me, I will. Beneath me means beneath my feet, right? Any bird that's waiting there. But despite age and appearance, I will, I will blow chunks into your mouth if you need me to. That's that's a Raven coalition. If you need bread, because people that need bread are not crying about condescensions of themselves, are they? I'm just saying. People that need bread are not crying about about you. God, so you say I died on shit. You not doing that. You hungry? You talking about shit? I'm so hungry. I'm dizzy. I get hungry and I get dizzy because I mean the anemia is always there, so I mean it, it kicks in. Oh, I gotta make it to the, the kitchen. And it's a long thing, long hallway. So I make it to the kitchen. I hold on to the walls. Have I done it? No. But that's what I say. I say if, I, if I'm that hungry, if I'm that dizzy, I make it to the kitchen get food, right? I gotta do whatever I gotta do. I'm not looking for. Mama, I'm looking for the food that can come from your mouth. I'm not looking for. Come on, I said I'm the mouth of babes. Whether I be the babe or you be the babe, doesn't matter to me as long as I have the abundance of the heart. I have the abundance of the heart. I have the abundance of my heart. I speak. What do you care what I look like if the word is coming from me? Naomi hmm? hmm? called herself bitter and asked everybody to follow. Okay. Are you serious? The Bible does not say, the Bible never says that Naomi is bitter. As a lot of people say that the name was printed in the CBS book. When Naomi was bitter, a lot of people say Naomi was bitter. The Bible does not say that. Sometimes you can you can be fooled because I walk with a mask on and the mask looks like I have folded, but I don't. Everybody outside that was walking around outside during that season of our lives, that three year season, right? Everybody was outside that had a mask on, looked like they had COVID. They looked like a, a COVID petri dish to me. They looked like they were diseased. This ease. They were uh, uh, not in ease, they were dis uh, ease in their present situation. Everybody looked like they had COVID. Either that they like COVID or they look like bandits to me. They all look like they got something that I did not want, didn't they? They did. They did. Does it, does it mean, just because you have COVID, cause I, but just because you have a mask on, they sit in the doctor's office in front of me, you got a mask on, but the person next to you um, doesn't have a mask on. Now, I could find out later on that one of you has uh, a, 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 a obtained COVID, right? But, that, that, but when you're sitting in the office in front of me, one of you had a mask, both of you had a mask on. I can't tell who has COVID, right? right? Or if anybody has it at all. If you are wearing a mask, right, you look like everybody else normal. I think Naomi. Dropped her mask, didn't she? You look like everybody else until you speak, right? And off comes the mask, right? Once you start talking, the mask drops, and when the mask drops, it becomes evident. Is that not that you are <clears throat> bitter, but that you call yourself? Uh, she said, "I call me Mara. I can't do it if God didn't tell me to do it. I will not look at my pastor because you say uh, I call him." Blah, blah, blah. A certain thing. I will not. Balaam had an issue with that, didn't he? Balaam asked them to. A man, he hired a man to try to pray over the Israelites, over the children of Abraham, the Israelites, and called them something that they were not. I am not a liar. You will not catch me lying. God did not call you bitter. You called yourself bitter. Call me a dummy, for I am not smart. And the first person that comes in that does it is guilty of lying because God did not call me that. I called myself that. Call me Mara, for I am bitter, does not indicate that the Father has said huh, that person a bitter. Which means, here's the thing, which means the truth is she is not bitter. Because the truth, the way the truth and the light has not said that about her. Until the way the truth and the light says it, she is what he originally said she was, which was pleasantness. That's what Naomi means, right? 
So, so the truth has not said it, it is a lie. And everyone that adds to it and speaks to it is now an abomination, aren't they? For there are seven things God hates. That are the God, the God, God can't stand sin, but there are seven things that God hates, right? And we talked about it, there's seven things, right? A man who bears false witness and a liar uh, are the bookends of the things that God hates. There's five things in between there that do not repeat. But the man that bears false witness and a liar, God um, hates. He, 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 it's despicable to him. He, uh, the Bible says he abhors it. You're, uh, you are a abhorable fool. You call my pastors one of my pastors out of their name. You are a horrible fool. I want to make up a word. Over this, I want to make up a word. You you are a bunch of abhors. Abhors. I ain't calling you a whore. I said you are abhors. A horrible. You, that's what you. Is. Yes, that's what you. That's what you look like to me. You look like the test. You look like God don't like it. There was a test and you did not pass it. I couldn't want my pastor to get up and say that. I'm, I'm, I, you speak into the life of the man of God. I'm, I'm, I appreciate the fact that they have spoken into you. Oh, so many. I, David Lewis sings, and I mean that man, I think he's been singing since he was born. He came out of his mother's womb with a guitar. <laughs> Playing it, twang. <laughs> then the doctor had to smack him, the doctor took the guitar and, and smack him over the head with it. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, he had to smack him. He had a guitar. He speaks, he speaks encouragement over you and into you and around you and underneath you. He wraps you in love. And the moment they get up and say, oh, I feel like you will speak to what they feel oh, and not speak to what God has called them. We know where feelings are. come from. Feelings come from the soul. It's around from your emotion base. But I call you out of your emotions. Oh, I tell you to stand on a solid rock. Oh, he has called you to stand on a solid rock. And he said, stand me therefore in the liberty where with Christ has made you free and be not uh, entangled again in the yoke of bondage uh, right so you may call yourself uh, maybe we'll call himself I feel like this but I'm calling him uh, 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 unentangable <laughs> unbondageable um, uh, Pastor David may call himself uh, uh, I'm tired of preaching uh, 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 Jesus <laughs> hey God I'm gonna look forward to that sermon I got this one I said three days I'm here Pastor David uh. it ain't Pastor David it's Sunday Sunday is what's taking so long Hurry up, Pastor David! Uh. Speak it to the man of God. Speak life into them. Speak life. Just because the devil tries to speak no into your situation, do you have to repeat it or regurgitate what the Satan is saying uh, and speak it back? See, the thing was, God would sometimes uh, look, uh, look like he would go away from his people by stepping back a little bit. He would tell them something and would step back a little bit. And the enemy would come in. And the enemy would recite what he wanted to recite. And so people would become mesmerized. They would start saying what God said until they realize, oh wait, God ain't here no more. And that's a lie. Because I know the Savior that said, Lo, I will be with you always, uh, even until the end of the world. That means he's standing here right next to me. Come on, yes, Jamie. I mean, Ruth, Ruth, went at the, Ruth stood at, the, at, the, at the, the precipice of incest and light. Her deeds, what she did, fell out of her back. So you, Boaz was a man of integrity, right? But he was from the children of Israel. He is proof of why Naomi should have never left. Because uh, even though Naomi left, when she left, she became Mara. Because you were never supposed to leave. House of bread, comma, phrase. But when you did, your name changed. You had a name change. You changed your name once you left. But Boaz never left, didn't you? I think everything could happen. Boaz could have killed my redeemer. Everything could have happened. Boaz could have became Bozo. He could have became something. I'm telling you. He was not leaving. And I said it right there. I said, she was not supposed to leave. Because there was a famine in that land. The Bible said it was a famine in her land. Okay, everybody else experienced a famine. We not. We got bread. Right? We got stuff. Do you realize they left and came back and lived in the same house? This is about a decade passed by. So you leave, come back, and live in the same house, and there's a famine? Y'all ain't seen family. Come to North New Jersey with me for a moment. Lord, that stuff fell from the ceiling and I cleaned out my toilet with my bare hands. I, I flushed my toilet. It's my, to- it's my toilet water, right? 
I'm not taking responsibility for my toilet, my cold water. I cleaned it out with my hands. You may want to put a glove on, you may put a glove on, right? Clean it out. Get it cleaned up. Come to me. In the middle of New Jersey, in the middle of the ghetto. I'm talking about family. This here is a mansion. I'm dealing with a landlord talking about condescensions of herself, of me. You invited me to your art show, that's condescensions of me. Are you crazy? I said, God, I'm Jamie. I'm looking to be, I'm looking for a Naomi, right? I'm looking for, and then when we prayed, and she said, let's pray, we prayed in the living room, a pastor said, oh, you don't know what God's going to do. I said, I know he's going to do it through the Lord. I felt the spirit when we prayed. It's not going to happen to the Lord. And that's what I'm looking for in Naomi, right? Not no wing, then I'm really going to get a Naomi, because if Naomi want a Jamie, and Naomi do a Jamie, I got a David. I got a, I got a, I'm looking for a Naomi, I'm looking for you to give me the word, but pleasant Lee, I'm looking for a pleasant next, I'm looking for a pleasant you are full. I'm looking for a Naomi to bring it pleasant Lee, and I got a David. You look up a pleasant Lee, and you get a beloved. God beloved, you get God beloved. What I learned from that is you're not going to get it pleasantly all the time. You want to be loved, be loved. Be loved, be loved. Right? Be loved, be loved. Be loved, be loved. You want to be loved, be loved. Then be it. You are already loved. <laughs> it didn't come easy. It's not coming easy. And I love every second of it. Does it hurt? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, wait, excuse me, excuse me, I'm doing it again. Okay, take two, and action. Uh, can I do it better? No, that's, that's good. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt a little bit. But maybe the hurt is what it takes to get free from it. Everybody come to me has tried to do it pleasantly, and when they realize who I was, they couldn't handle it. Finally, got a, a God beloved who has not walked away from me. Him, him on the they have not walked away from me. And they teach me how not to call myself things. And then yeah, blah, blah, play, play the game of shock and uh. <laughs> wait, can you do that better? Okay, take two and action. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but I tried. Okay, so. Oh my lord! Now play the game of shock when you become it. Do you realize when you speak of yourself, become, you become exactly what you call to yourself. You understand how much power words have. So you call, when you call yourself stupid, you call stupidity to you. Good luck with that. I don't get away from you because I'm, I'm trying to dump stupidity. I, I get fall, uh, fiber fall, and I get sick. I got fiber fall right now, and it partly due to the fact that I am under a lot of stress. So I got a lot of fiber fall, and my body is actually experienced fiber miles as well because I'm under a lot of stress. Right? But I got time to call a fall to me when I'm looking to see clearly. I want to see not clarity clear, right? But heavenly clear. I want to see what God has for me. So if you call stupid to you, I'm ducking. Get away from you. Why, why don't people do that? The Holy Spirit has, has come on down on me a couple times recently that I, I mean, I'm so stupid, I hit myself in the head, but. How does a bathroom ceiling falling on the floor cause you to be stupid? It was a woman upstairs that decided to take a bath. And I'm not, I'm not saying she meant to do it, but it didn't have anything to do with me. I don't know why I'm so stupid. No, you're not. Oh no, I'm so bitter. No, you're not. I'm learning. I'm gonna love the, this episode just today. Wow. Wrap the cycle, right? This episode, this episode today of bipolar is why I'm disabled. I said, Kurt, we gotta do something because I'm, I'm, uh, when I say I'm angry, he understands. He's like, oh no, 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 we gotta get some because it's angry. If I say I'm angry, that's I'm on fire. And I don't want to be angry because me being angry means the person that calls me, the telemarketer that calls me that can reach for Jesus, I end up speaking out to in my anxious, in my hatefulness, in my hurt, right? in my gyrus, right? We all got a gyrus in my Lazarus, right? Do you know what you do? You're sick, you never speak out when you're Jesus. 
Y'all see how your Jairus, your Judas, your Caiaphas, and your Lazarus. But you never see out your Jesus. <laughs> Jesus don't ever come out of my mouth when I, when I have an uh, episode. He don't. No, I'm stressed. Mm-mm. No, he don't. Because I'm just not that holy. I got I to gotta go through it and then come back and then oh, bring myself back after I said some things. I hate that. I'm very careful about what I say because I do not want it to get to God and I do not want it to get to my pastor. And it still gets to me. People understand when I say things, it hurts me more than anything. And my pastor gets wounded, he's coming at me. <laughs> Gun loaded, he's coming at me. And I need him to do that. Because otherwise I won't stop. But I still hate it. I don't want to, I told him, I'm like, I don't like disappointing you. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. It never happened. I was talking to the she's like, Jamie, um, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 and I get, I get mad. I said, that's how I know this is a treat me not to leave it. God told me, he said, that, that, that he looked at me, he said, yep, yeah, treat me not to leave me. That's your name on me. Just because it don't look like pleasantness, <laughs> don't mean it ain't pleasantness. They don't look like pleasantness to you because you want to see uh, smiles and rainbows and lollipops and gumdrops. You want to see that. You want to see pink clouds to the side of you. Or you want to see something crazy. This man come real. <laughs> he come real. That's it. This is it. And I love it. I finally feel secure. I could show somebody who I really am. Y'all understand? This is the decades. Those beat this out of me. And now I'm beating it back in. Because he here now. I can show somebody. Yay! You guys can see me. Both my arms are out and both my legs are up. <laughs> but I'm not gay. I can show somebody who I really am. People walk away from you. Because you are not the you that they want to see. But I got somebody who, no, no, he accepts me. He don't, now here's the thing. He ain't gonna tolerate it. He ain't gonna tolerate me, but he accepts me. He accepts me telling the truth that I am really crazy. I really need to see color all everywhere. That's why I need this blue shirt. <laughs> I need a blue shirt. I need a blue shirt. I, need a blue shirt. I love that blue shirt. I'm crazy. Right? And accept me, I run around, I said, Mr. Linda, do you what do you believe if I told you I swirl? Most every day after I pray, between me praying and while I'm just music? She said no. I said, exactly. Do you think somebody that paints stuff like this, color everywhere, color everywhere? Do you think somebody that paints stuff like this is not extremely happy? I got to the point the, uh, the other week, I told Kirk, I said, okay, I, we got to make sure that I don't hit, uh, we got to check for me to hit Van Gogh territory. He said, okay. So he checked my paintings. And I said, okay, Kirk, we got to check Van Gogh. Again, we got to do check, the Van Gogh check. Not because I completed a different set of paintings, but because of the fact that it was this week I felt just a little bit uh, uh, tired, uh, right? Uh, worn out, uh, right? Uh, and angry, right? Uh, so I did this piece, uh, right? And it is the biochemical nature of the mind. And as I do layers to it, I show Kurt check the piece. Uh, bye-bye. Don't check me, check my piece. Uh, bye-bye. No, bye-bye, bye-bye. them that labor among you. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, bye-bye. And then go cut his own ear off. It was not go again. Then go cut his own ear off because then go blah, 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 blah. I said that man was a preacher man blah, blah, blah. how did you not know I did not see that enemy is that and he sent the ear to somebody now you, you gotta know your history sent the ear to somebody as a uh, blah, blah, a living sacrifice that's nasty <laughs> he said her huh, ear I bit his ear I bit his ear no you cut your own ear off and sent it to a woman because you were jealous of Gauguin and her of Gauguin I said, I want the, uh, the, the Van Gogh epidemic. I said, check my stuff. Because well, that, the thing is, uh, you can, uh, uh, the, the curtain is like, Jamie, you're worrying a lot about this. And he said, I think I know what this is. And Kirk can cause it. He calls it. He said, you have a posture syndrome. When I, was, when I was in the chamber of commerce, you have a posture syndrome. Because I said, I'm looking at this stuff and it's too pretty. I cannot do this, Kirk. Do something about this. Fix it. He said, 
<laughs> He's like, James, what, what, what's wrong? What's wrong? I was like, what is this? What's going on? Why am I here? Why is my stuff here? This is too good. He said, oh, it's imposter syndrome. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what? He said, Jamie, now I, I realize this. I recognize what this is. He's like, you're becoming vulnerable. As I felt this, uh, the, the strong desire to go get a jacket and zip it all the way up to my neck. Just now. He's like, you're becoming a, a vulnerable. And now, he said, now, if, if you handle it right, you'll see the real art in you. I said, <laughs> he just solved the mystery. But wait. Didn't he? Thank you, Pastor David. When Jesus was squeezed, didn't we see? See, Jesus had an effect on 12, and then there were 80 or 70, right? Either way, I think it ended up being 82, so maybe there were 70, right? But Jesus had an effect on 70, right, um, from a distance, but 12 men up close. And then we get to see the main uh, pieces. See, the 70 actually missed out a little bit. They did not see what they signed up for completely because of the fact that they were not in the 12. But we see what happened in the 12, right, so when we read about it. So as we read about it, right, he became, Jesus became vulnerable with them. And so that's where the real miracles take place because of the fact that Jesus could see it. And he accepted, right, to each one of them. He could see them, right, because people were crazy. I know I'm going to jump. I know. I know. <laughs> people were crazy. People had lost his ever-loving mind. He's talking about both sides of the face. Who's my son? Was bipolar. Peter was. People was bipolar. Five scriptures. Five verses between 18 and 23. I'm like, Peter, you can't hold out? Really, you can't hold out? No, no longer? You, you done? It's hard for me to hold out on information. I can't hold out information from anybody. I told Miss Andrew, I was like, listen, the, the, I brought y'all birthday presents, but the thing is, <laughs> they didn't all come at the same time. And I wasn't waiting. So I was like, this is y'all birthday month. This is not your birthday day. So they get something on Sunday? That's what's helped them relax. I said, I can't send them. I kept asking. I asked Jess to look for me. I had I asked people to look two months ago. I said, I cannot find a spot that I trust. And even if I trust it, I can't find a spot that they would trust to take themselves to. And then I'm gonna have to get child care. So I said, fine, if I can't take you to a spot, then I'm gonna take a spot to you. Mm. So that's Sunday, right? And then the last part of the gift comes, it's coming to me Sunday, just like this part of the gift came Sunday, so I have to do something with the rabbit or something, then give it to him on Sunday. But the next part, the, the next part of the gift comes on Sunday. I know, because it was delivered to Christina. So that's coming on Sunday. Uh, I think the, this, this part was delivered to Harmony or Ashley, one of them. Anyway, no, proceed. Yeah. <laughs> so the, this part that's coming, it was, it was already delivered, and I can give it to them next Sunday. Cause they ain't gonna be gift wrapped. I can't give it to them on Sunday. They can't be, ain't gonna be gift wrapped. Even if I put it inside of a bag, it's probably gonna be in a brown box, and I ain't giving nobody no brown box for the birthday. You put that in a bag, and that's ugly. Wrap it. <laughs> that's ugly. Have to get this presentation, isn't it? Have to get to me understand who Jesus is is the presentation of it. People cannot take what's coming out of my mouth if they do not like my the face behind it. It's true. I said, Jesus, I want you to be in front of me when I do artwork. He said, Jamie, just take me with you. No, I want you to be at the forefront. Yeah, we, we had a fight. We had a little bit of fight, a little bit of fight, but he won. I, I can't, I can't imagine myself fighting Jesus. I saw myself, I saw myself holding onto them like a little kid with my hand, both my hands wrapped around his hand. So he said, Jamie, come take a picture with us. And he was in front of the museum. And I saw people at the museum that I know. He said, Jamie, come take a picture with us. Except Jesus was up there with them. I held onto his hand and you see a white robe. <laughs> and you don't see no head because it is above the camera. But you see me there and it's like a little, I saw a snapshot. We we'll take one out of it. God said, take me with you. He said, you don't do that. And you're not to make me the force and the focus of every single thing. I said, I got this beautiful thing, this little girl, and then it's blowing everything everywhere. And I said, I gotta find a place to put Jesus. Uh, he said, Jenny, if you find a place to put Jesus, you're just gonna mess it up. Because you find a place to put me. Don't find a place to put me. I'll let you know when I'm about to. I wanna be seen how I wanna be seen. Don't find a place for me. That's second hand, right? They said on Project Runway, and it's true. I do art where certain things are second hand. You can tell. You ain't, you ain't planning to do that when you started doing it. No, I didn't. But you could tell. It looks like you, it was an afterthought. 
She said, don't make me no afterthought, Jamie. Let me make, I, 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 I just bring me with you. If you bring me with you for everything, when you talk about everything, did you mention me? I come out, got up to do that Chamber of Commerce talk. I could not help myself. I, 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 I pointed at Pastor David, but I, 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 I was embracing Jesus the entire time. You can't. I said, I can't. 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 I still remember. I don't remember anything I said. God said it's a mix it. Mix it up. I said, okay. I did a blog. They just don't know it. <laughs> That's what I thought. Where did you get the information from? I was like, you was in a car with me. Nowhere. <laughs> I, I'm crazy. When we get in the room, God said, mix it up. I, I, I was cool then. I was good. Because I get practice here. Practice makes perfect. Practice with God makes perfect. Makes him perfect. Makes him perfect in you. Practice will cause him to perfect himself inside of you. Practice brings about a perfect Jesus in me. Practice blah, 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 will cause me to show not the greater blah, 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 me, but the greater is he that is in blah, 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 me. Practice. I'm just a vessel. Practice. Blah, blah. Practice this. And perfect will come out of it. Practice. 